The last little piece we have to discuss in our 3.1 notes is the margin of error and confidence intervals. And to bring this all together, what we've been talking about throughout 3.1 are the statistical studies, right? We might use different methods to get information and there might, some, there might be some biases behind this, so hopefully we will avoid that when we're doing these studies. Um, and what we're, our whole goal here is to work with a sample so we can make predictions for the population that we're studying, all right? But within that sample, we can't predict fully what's gonna happen for the entire population because once again, we did not go out and survey every single renter and ask if they've been evicted in their lifetime. We only looked at 350 renters and we're using that to predict what is true for our population. So because of that, there is known as something, there is something known as margin of error. And this is known as our wiggle room or give and take that will make sense in a second for our sample statistic in describing the population, and hopefully this is all making sense with the terms earlier in the videos, parameter. Remember that's our theoretical proportion or percentage. So what I mean by wiggle room is that it's not gonna be 100% accurate, right? It might be off here and there. And so we use this margin of error to determine our confidence interval. So that's like how confident we are that this data is really representing our population parameter. So this is how confident we are in the data, or you know, maybe I want to say proportion, percentage. Um, how confident we are in the data representing the population parameter. So let me give you an example. So example five says, according to Gallup.com poll in 2017, 29% of hourly workers and 41% of salary, salary workers are completely satisfied with the amount of money they earn. So stop right there. We have no idea what our sample size is, right? Um, I'm sure if we go to the source, it would tell us what our sample size is actually. But they're claiming that, you know, 29% of all hourly workers are satisfied with the money they earn and 41% of the salary workers are satisfied. They also, though, say the survey had a margin of error of plus or minus 5%. And so what that means, okay, is how confident they are that their hourly workers are satisfied with uh, the money they earn. So let's look. Hourly workers is 29%. So what we do here, since it's plus or minus 5%, and this is, you might see this margin of error, MOE for short. All right, well that means, okay, 29 take away five gives me 24, right? And let's put percentages there because it is our unit. We wanna make sure that we're clear with what we're talking about. And then 29% plus 5% equals 34%. Okay, this is what, this was to get to the answer. This is not the answer. The answer then is, you always use parentheses, 
percent, make sure you use percent symbol, to 34 percent. So our confidence interval, okay, where hourly workers are satisfied with the money they earn is 24 percent to 34 percent. So that's a wide spread. Um, this is as deep as we go in 105 with margin of error or confidence intervals. This is definitely a topic covered more thoroughly in 243. The key thing is when you're working in my open math, make sure you write the answer just like so. So you have the parentheses and you have the percentage, you have a comma, percentage, parentheses. Otherwise, it will mark you wrong. Okay, so salaried workers, well, they're 41%, right? But we had a margin of error of 5%. So if we take away 5%, we get 36%. And if we add 5%, we get 46%. So once again, and make sure you write in order, that's important too, your answer is the confidence interval that salaried workers are satisfied with the money they earn is 36% to 46%, okay? It would be the, it is better when your margin of error is lower, right? Because you don't have such a wide spread. You're more confident that uh, this data really represents your population parameter. And I'm going to say it one more time. When you're using my open math, when you're answering confidence intervals, you make sure you put in parentheses. You make sure you put in percentage, comma, percentage, parentheses. See you next time.